Hey guys, if you're video editing and you're using FLV files and they're running slow, or you have a corrupt video that you want to get right again, keep watching this video. So what we're going to do to fix this is use the FFMPEG software, which you can find the link to their website down below. Now I'm doing it for the Windows installation 64-bit so I'm going to open that file now it is 61 megabytes so once that opens up you're going to navigate into the folders and you'll find the bin directory and in there you'll find ffmpeg.exe and you want to drag that across into the Windows directory under system32 and for mine I've already installed it there so I'm skipping but this won't come up for you guys if you haven't copied it there already now next step is to create a folder somewhere where you're going to house the batch file that's going to run this software now I'm creating a text file which I can call anything I want but I'm just gonna call it something simple like FF MPG batch file something like that so that you remember what that file is now opening up I paste the text which I'll put in the description below and then what we'll do is save that file and exit it and then we can click on the description of that file and actually change the extension on the end from txt to bat which is a batch file now to edit this batch file you can also right click on it and hit the edit button which will open up in the same notepad you'll need to do this to edit the source directory of where your videos are located so the video here I'm grabbing the source location uh, and copying that and replacing it in the fields inside the batch file those folders are up to you now you can save the document and then you can exit it and then when we double click you will be prompted to start the batch process and when you press any key the file will start to be converted across now you'll see here that the video that gets created has the same name as the previous file but it's .mp4 now I've sped this video up can work across more than just one single video you can have multiple videos inside the folder and it'll just jump through every single video and process all of them message to say that your job is done and as you can see here the file sizes are actually very similar so all it's done is actually converted it across and you won't lose any quality so what I'm going to show you here is when I open up the original FLV file and press play I try to jump through the video uh, and it first starts all right but as soon as I jump to the anywhere throughout that video uh, it just locks up and I can't look through it because the file size is so large but if I try that with the MP4 and open it up in the same media player which is VLC uh, I can jump through anywhere in that video and it will load up the uh, video itself so no issues there now the reason for me doing this is because when I'm video editing it's actually a lot quicker to to video edit a file that's an mp4 instead of an FLV file but as you can see here in OBS studio which I use for capturing my games and such the recording format if you do it in an mp4 and the video file doesn't complete properly being if the computer switches off or if there's some type of uh, error on the computer you run out of hard drive space something like that the file doesn't close properly and then you lose all of your recording whereas you can uh, still have that issue with an FLV file and you're still able to recover it now the same thing does work with corrupt videos as well I've found going from FLV to an MP4 so try that out and see how you go and uh, let me know if you have any issues with the instructions I've given but thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time